Hi folks, so this is my review of the Creality K1C. It's, it's fantastic. I, I not had any problems with it. I don't use any glue on it. Um, I've printed everything apart from TPU. Uh, it just works wonderful. I, I do the self-leveling every time I do a print, or should I say when I shut the machine down and then do a print, and it just prints everything perfect. Um, there's no problem with it. I send it from the computer to the printer wirelessly. I do not use the uh, the dongle um, and it, that works perfectly. Um, I can't find fault with this thing. I've done a couple of, um, what do you call it, accessories to it, which we'll go through in a minute. Um, other than that, I think it's perfect. Best, best machine I've ever had or, or used. Uh, any problems, any faults with it? I can't say there is. It sticks with um, PTG. It does tend to stick to the plate very, very strongly, and I have a few problems with that. But uh, other than that, it's a fantastic. I would highly recommend this printer. Okay, let's start with the top. Uh, we've obviously got uprisers and uplifters there. And as you can see, they're honeycomb. That's for PLA. I have got solid ones that slide in for tougher materials like carbon fibre. I've loosened the actual Bowden tube and put a little clip in there so it comes in more uh, direct, the filament there. And uh, nothing catches, nothing scratches, what have you. Two LED lights, as you can see there. One, two. Uh, all this stuff is printed by this machine. And they run down the side to this switch here. As you can see there. So we'll switch on and off. I've got two covers here. This is for, as you might know, I scratched the screen and I've replaced the screen there and I put these in. That also helps when I'm printing carbon fibre or PETG, it seals it all in. You see that down there? Okay. On the side, I've moved this one up sensor to the side. And I've also put this printed this year for smaller spools, which I use sometimes. And also, I've just bought this splicing machine from Sunlu, and I'll do all the different colours, and I'll just attach it on there. Um, it just comes off easy like that. Like I said, all this is three D printed off this machine, etc. And inside, there's not many things I've done on the inside, but just that filter there. If you can see it there, just that filter there is the only thing I've actually done on the inside. The rest of it, I can see it there, that little filter there. The rest I've just left it to normal, to standard. So, as you can see, there's a few modifications. These are gloves I use to touch the actual build plate, so I don't leave any residue on there. They're just plastic, really. 